what's up guys, welcome to my uh, latest vlog. And yeah, well, I'm already kind of falling behind. Expect a couple more vlogs in quick succession. As I promised earlier on, it's gonna be me ranting, which basically means complaining about stuff. And today I'm gonna complain about uh, two broadband providers that I happen to have the privilege of using their services. Unify versus Time. Okay, now I understand that Unify is probably the most uh, widely available fiber optic broadband and time is kind of restricted uh, it's only certain areas that actually have the broadband uh, what did I actually feel uh, with Unify versus time now okay before I start anything I want to give a brief disclaimer uh, this is my own personal experience uh, I did not do a study I did not do a survey I did not go and get a proper a public sample so that uh, this is an accurate description of these providers. This is merely my own personal experience and uh, other people might defer and other people might disagree with me and you're welcome to do that but this is just my opinion on what happened to me when I use those broadband providers. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, Unify. Uh, using Unify uh, for about a year or so uh, and when I was using Unify I actually found that I had a lot of problems and I think the equipment that they were using was not very good as in uh, the modem that I got constantly overheated and apparently this is a, a pretty common occurrence with the maintenance guy when he came over and he said oh he just changed my modem and he said your modem is a problem some of our modems tend to overheat and when that happens you can't go online so I thought man that's some pretty cheap equipment that you're using right and the replacement modem that he gave me also overheated. And when I say overheat, I mean really overheat. You could probably like cook an egg on that. And besides that as well, I always felt that Unify's connection was a little bit intermittent. Like within a month, I would definitely be offline once or twice. Like there would just be no internet. I could not connect to the internet. And then it would come back uh, for no reason. It would disconnect. For no reason and then come back again for no reason. Sometimes it's due to the modem and sometimes it's just not due to anything. And Unify is one of those uh, fiber optic broadbands where if you live in a condominium, it will be fiber all the way to the base of the condominium and then uh, from the base of the condominium to your modem, it will be copper. Okay, so there's, there's probably going to be a little bit of a degradation there in terms of your uh, broadband speed. Uh, nothing really that was uh, very major, probably because I only use 10 Mbps, so I didn't really notice uh, that much of a, a lag or problem in that sense. Uh, Unify when it was fast, I guess it was pretty fast. The problem that I could not take was the intermittent internet. Uh, you know, it would just disconnect. And I remember there was one day with two and a half days I had no internet. I, and you know, for a junkie like me, I'm an internet addict. I have to admit that. I probably gotta go to some support groups or something. But yeah, I'm addicted to the internet. And two and a half days of no internet, man, I felt like I needed to strangle somebody. My opinion is that when I dealt with Unify customer service or TN's customer service in general, I felt like I wanted to strangle the person on the other end of the phone because I really feel they need to work on their customer service. You know, every time I call them, I'm like, hey, you know, my internet is not working. Then they'll check and they'll say, oh, we don't know what's wrong. We'll send a technician. The technician does not call me. I call the next day. Nobody picks up. Two days later, the technician then calls me and says, hey, okay, uh, sorry, I've been busy. Uh, which basically means, hey, I know you got a problem, but fuck you, I don't really care. And uh, I'll probably uh, drop by sometime tomorrow. But before he even drops by, suddenly the internet magically connects again and I don't need him to come over. So yeah, two days uh, without internet, uh, that's a problem that I had. Uh, sometimes I think even longer than that. And another problem is sometimes they have entire areas that are down. Because I called the, the helpline and I'm like, hey, you know, um, my internet is down. Which area are you in now? Like, this area. And they're like, oh, the internet in your area is down. Fuck you. Why didn't you suck my balls? You know, that's kind of like the attitude that they have. Obviously, they don't actually say that, but that's the attitude that they have. You know, it's like, I don't get paid enough to give a shit, so I don't. So then I asked them, so, okay, fine, so when is my internet going to be connected? Uh, I don't know. We are currently working on it. We will let you know when the internet is up. Oh, by the way, fuck you. So then it's kind of like, like, okay, the area's down. You got no internet. The area's down. Fucking deal with it. That's the attitude that I get from their customer service, right? Another thing is, I never got how Malaysians use this particular line as a defense for them. You know, this should be a very embarrassing thing, but somehow, Malaysians have found a way to use this sentence 
uh, to help their argument, which is strange. And the sentence is, not only your internet is down, okay? The whole of Kota Damansara, also the internet is down. How the hell is that something in your favor? Not only you got the HIV positive blood, okay? The whole of the hospital also got HIV positive blood. Not the whole of the hospital also got HIV, ah! Not only you, eh? Not only you where the tires fail and you got into a fatal car crash, okay? All the cars in our line also got into a fatal car crash because the tires fail. Ah, not only you. Hey, not only you, we amputated the wrong leg because we are incompetent doctors, you know, okay? All the patients here also, we amputated the wrong leg because we are incompetent doctors. Ah, not only you. How is it that Malaysians use this as a lie to defend themselves? Oh, not only your internet is down, the whole of Kota Damansara is down. So basically what you're telling me is you haven't just disappointed me as a customer, you've disappointed 10,000 other people as well. So yeah, after all this, I just like couldn't take it anymore, right? So I tried another broadband provider, Time, and uh, well, Time are not perfect, but in my opinion, I had a much better experience with Time. I mean, Time has also got their problems. Uh, like for example, I tried the 100 Mbps service that they had, and uh, the experience that I had was that it was very unstable. I could never get to 100 Mbps. I think the maximum I got to was like 40. And then suddenly the speed would drop drastically. And uh, within like a day or something, like you couldn't, you couldn't even stay at 40 or 50. And even then, uh, I just felt like the whole connection of 100 Mbps was not stable. So I downgraded back to 15. And 15 seems to be stable for me right now. Uh, time the problem that I have sometimes is uh, the internet is slow, uh, but rarely have I ever been in a situation where I had absolutely no internet. And uh, one thing that I have to say about time is that even that whole one week when they were trying to figure out my whole 100 Mbps problem, they could not figure it out, they don't know what the hell was going on, they sent the technician over and they, the technician still couldn't figure it out. Uh, at least they took responsibility for the problem. Somebody over there said, okay, Mr. Sharizan, I understand what is your problem. I know your case. I will check up and I will call you back and find out what's wrong. And guess what? They actually do call me back and they follow up on the problem and they, until the problem is solved, I was constantly in contact with them. I didn't feel like they were just, you know, blowing me off and telling me to go fuck myself. You know what I mean? So I didn't feel uh, so bad even though that whole one week and a half or something like that I had a problem with my internet. But now that it's downgraded better, I feel that they use better equipment as well. Uh, so far, you know, I've had minimal problems with time. Another good thing about Time is that Time's fiber is all the way to your modem. So yeah, I did IPTV with Astro at one point for Time, but I decided to uh, cancel my Astro and get Time by itself because it's slightly cheaper, slightly cheaper uh, if you get it straight from Time. And uh, yeah, Time didn't pay me to make this video, but you know what Time? I do accept checks, so you know, since I'm giving you guys props in general, you can always just pay me. Again, it's my own personal opinion. I did not do empirical study and actually do a test and everywhere else. So, you know, you can give your own experience of time and or Unify or maybe even Maxis Fiber and uh, let me know what you think. Who is the best fiber optic broadband provider in Malaysia at the moment? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you want to keep up to date on my vlogs and my random rants and complaints about stuff, you can always subscribe and make sure to like the video. I'll be back again for another vlog real soon. Ciao, guys.